World Banking and Finance Review Awards highlight the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognise companies of all sizes who have excelled in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're pleased to offer two awards to Riyadh-based Mephic Capital. Mephic Capital is a complete financial services company with a paid capital of 400 million Saudi rials. Mephic Capital is active in asset management, real estate, private equity, investment banking and wealth management. Mephic products and services cater to individuals and corporates to achieve their financial objectives and understands the market and its customers' needs to be able to serve them comprehensively. Mephic has been awarded the following from Global Banking and Finance Review. Best Performing Saudi Equity Fund, KSA 2017 and Fastest Growing Money Market Fund, KSA 2017. Joining us from Riyadh to tell us more about Mephic is Mr. Shahid Motan, Head of Asset Management and Mr. Mohammed Al-Nahash, Head of Portfolio Management. Well, gentlemen, thank you for joining us from Riyadh today and congratulations on the awards from Global Banking and Finance Review. Thanks, Phil. Uh, it's a privilege to receive this award. We'd like to thank Global Banking and Finance Review for selecting us for these awards. Thank you very much, Phil. And it's a pleasure and great talking to you today. Well, Mr. Motan, I'd like to start by talking to you, if that's OK, and ask a little bit about Mephic Capital and what that actually offers your clients. Surely. Mephic Capital uh, is a, a fully licensed Saudi-based asset management and investment banking firm. Started operation in 2007 with a capital of $400 million. Today, we manage around $4 billion in asset under management. We have a very strong shareholder, institutional shareholder base. Al United Bank of Bahrain owns 40%. Uh, the Arab investment company formed by 17 Arab governments own 15% and the remaining 45% is owned by prominent Saudi families and investors. Uh, tell me a little bit more about what challenges and opportunities there are for investors and clients right now. Uh, investors, right, I think they are, they are phenomenal opportunities in Saudi Arabia. Uh, with the new leadership in place leading the country and with Vision 2030 in place, the opportunities are phenomenal in the investment area. Uh, we have, uh, any, uh, say for example, Vision 30, uh, 2030 open doors for investment in entertainment sector, in uh, healthcare, education and tourism sector. Also, the market is opening up by way of uh, uh, inclusion of Saudi stock market in MSCI and FTSE which is bringing uh, which is likely to bring a phenomenal capital flow in the country as well as bringing Saudi into a limelight. How would you say Mephic Capital is actually expanding its product range? Today uh, Mephic Capital has extensively expanded its, its product range. Uh, the history of Mephic has been since we started in 2007 we have been known in the market as a prominent provider of real estate investment products. Uh, but today we have, since 2014, we have expanded it well. We are into public equity, private equity, fixed income, and that has helped us triple our AUM actually to about Saudi Real 4 billion asset under management. Right. Uh, and do you think you'll be offering any new services this year? Surely, we are currently, uh, uh, we did launch at the beginning of 2007 a Saudi equity freestyle fund. It's an aggressive mandate uh, which has, which is probably, which sort of work in an unconstrained manner and provides a flexibility to manager actually in a difficult time to go high on the cash and use uh, performance. Also, uh, this year we have gone into a, a underwriting transaction which is a underwriting of 1.5 billion of Bankal Jazeera on rights issue. We have successfully concluded that and, uh, and that has contributed nicely into our revenue. Uh, we also have launched a first MIFIC real estate investment trust. We have raised an equity of about 420 million and we are on the verge of about closing it actually and launching it into the stock market. A final question for you. What would you see as being the expectations from your point of view for Mephic Capital for the rest of 2018? 
It has been great. Uh, 2018 has been phenomenal with the closure of underwriting transaction, MIFIC Real Estate Investment Trust. We believe MIFIC has a, a phenomenal growth path uh, going forward. Uh, we are confident that the market will see MIFIC growing its market share significantly and creating a shareholder value. We are. We have some exciting ideas in definitely in the public equity space. Our performance has been great. We think we have a tremendous uh, opportunity to grow our AUM in that space. In private equity, we are looking into some great transaction. We think we'll be able to close it before the year end and probably going into next year. And real estate being our prominent area is also going to get some exciting products going forward. Well, let's turn now and talk uh, to Mr. Mohammed Al Nahash uh, about his responsibilities and his thoughts on Mephic Capital. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to ask you a little bit about what you see about the investment process at Mephic Capital. How does that work? So, uh, our investment process is uh, fundamentally driven. We focus on uh, an analyzing companies, then we look at the sectors that these uh, uh, companies. Um, operates in, and then we look at the economy overall. So it's mostly a bottom-up approach that we uh, that we analyze, start to, from a company, the company level. We uh, uh, we focus on uh, the valuation uh, as well. So we like to buy good companies at the right valuation level. Right. Well, looking at your other services, tell me more about the the Mephic Local Equity Fund and how that works. So the local equity, uh, uh, the local equity fund invests in publicly traded stocks in the Saudi stock market. Uh, we have uh, um, uh, sector analysts, so we have specialists in each sector, and that helps us to capitalize and leverage our capabilities to buy more concentrated uh, 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 positions in uh, in stocks that uh, that we cover very well, and we take market volatility in our advantage. So whenever the market corrects, we try to buy at, uh, at, uh, uh, at good prices and good levels. Well, the MEFIC equity fund, uh, of course, was a top performing fund. What do you think the success is behind that? Um, I believe it goes back to uh, what we call three Ps, the people, which are uh, the team, uh, they are seasoned, uh, uh, analysts, uh, focused and specialized. We also attribute that, that to the philosophy of the uh, of uh, investing in fundamentally strong companies at uh, good prices with good valuation. Uh, we adjust for business cycles just to avoid investing in companies at the peak of the cycle that appears to be cheap, where uh, in, on cyclically uh, uh, adjusted basis they are they, they are not. So we we, we try to protect uh, capital by avoiding these companies. We also uh, attribute our success to the therapy, which is our investment process. Well, looking at your other funds, there is the Mephic SAR Murbaha uh, Fund. Tell us a little bit more about that. It's been a very strong performer, hasn't it? So the Murabaha Fund is a fixed income fund. It invests in, uh, in Murabaha placements at the same time, uh, fixed income securities, which is Sharia compliant. Uh, uh, so uh, we, uh, it, it's attributed to two main, uh, uh, main factors. Uh, the first factor is actively looking for strong counterparties, uh, counterparties with, uh, with, uh, with the strong financials at the same time offering uh, a good rates. So we go in the market uh, uh, and open uh, relationship with multiple uh, counterparties. The second thing is our active approach in selecting sukuks. Uh, or fixed income uh, uh, securities. Uh, we we uh, we uh, do our research to filter and uh, and look for uh, investment grades that are traded with this with the with the, with a good yield and with the, uh, with good return prospects. So we we. Uh, we have a good mix of risk and reward profile. Well, both the funds we've discussed there uh, are, are successful. One is a high risk, one is a low risk. How do your investment managers advise your clients on the best course of action to take? So, um, uh, we, we work very closely with our clients. We, we, we speak to our clients on a regular basis uh, to understand their needs and their risk profile and the right products that would uh, suit them. Um, so our uh, we 
one 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 part and uh, one part of our success is our uh, con uh, continued dialogue and discussion with the clients and um, meeting their needs uh, when it comes to uh, to risk uh, to manage their risk and return uh, of their investment uh, portfolio. Well, gentlemen, it's been excellent talking to you. Thank you for joining us from Riyadh. And once again, congratulations on the awards from Global Banking and Finance Review. Thanks, Phil. Thanks for, uh, for the time. Thanks for the interview and the awards. Thank you, Phil, very much. And uh, we appreciate your time and uh, thank you for the awards.